push-ups and squats. So let's take it back to basics. If you have no equipment at all, you have nothing at all to use, these two exercises you can do absolutely anywhere. Now, the benefits of doing push-ups and squats are unreal. First of all, you could just be in absolute great shape just from doing these two exercises. You can switch them up, there's all types of variations, but let's stick to the regular push-up and the regular squat. The push-up is great for your upper body, especially your chest, your triceps and your shoulders, but it's just going to build your upper body into a nice looking physique, into a strong physique. So just by doing push-ups, it's going to be great for you. Then squats, amazing for the legs, especially on endurance, health of the knees, health of the hips and overall muscle mass as well. Combining these two together is a great workout in itself as well. So if you just need to get a workout in and you're thinking, oh, I've got no equipment, what can I do? just literally do these two exercises. Now the way I split this one up was I did 100 of each, so I did five sets of 20 on each. Not too challenging on the legs, but for me it was challenging on the push-ups. So you can really work this workout however you want. But taking it back to basics, push-ups and squats, you really have no excuses. Even if you can't do push-ups, knee push-ups into squats and just get doing it regularly. People think you need weights, you need that, you need this, you need gym equipment. Look, if you're putting the work in, you're going to see results. And you can do that with these two exercises absolutely anywhere. If you compare yourself to somebody who only does push-ups and squats regularly, multiple times a week, improving on the push-ups, improving on the squats, improving on the mindset, and compare that to someone who doesn't do this at all because they think, oh, what's the point? I don't have a gym membership, I don't have a gym, all of this. Who's going to be in better shape? Who's going to have a better mindset? Who's going to be stronger? Who's going to have better endurance? Who's going to look better? The obvious answer is the person who's doing push-ups and squats. So yeah, I absolutely love these two exercises. And since I'm traveling at the moment, these are the best two exercises I can wish for because I can do, I can do them anywhere. I can literally just pull up by the side of a road, do a quick 15, 20 minute workout of just push-ups and squats. And boom, I've got a pump, I've got a workout in, I'm still in good shape, I'm looking good, feeling good. I mean, what more do you want? So how can you do this workout? Well, you could just do as many push-ups as you can, then do as many squats as you can, and just keep going with a certain time limit on it. Let's say, oh, I've got 15 minutes, 15 minute timer, as many push-ups as you can, as many squats, and just keep doing that. Or you can set goals like I did, 20 of each, and then for five sets, so that's 100 of each. If you're more beginner, you could do five push-ups, 10 squats, and then do that for 10 sets, then boom, you've got 50 push-ups in, 100 squats in. Even if you're advanced, the reason why I like these workouts so much is because no matter what level you are, you can do this and get an absolutely amazing workout in. So if you're advanced, you could do 50 push-ups, 50 squats for 10 sets. So that's 500 of each. Can you imagine the level that your physique will be at, the level of your strength if you can do that? And you can achieve this just by doing these exercises. So yeah, believe in your push-ups and squats, improve on your push-ups and squats, and there's really no excuses because the push-up and the squat are two of the best movements you can do. So keep working out with no excuses. Let me know how you'd style this workout. But yeah, look after your body, stay healthy, keep doing your push-ups and squats. Cheers.